it takes you, it allows you to, with a single key press, well, three keys, jump into a, a solid game scope session, shut down Wayland, shut down Hutchinson Wayland, shut down Hyperland, and then you're in a clean game scope session. And it does it improve performance? Yes, it does. Um, I'm quite shocked by it, actually. There's quite a, a size which and I couldn't work out why Catchy in deck mode could be so good. And I thought it was the kernel that it was so far ahead of of what I was seeing by on the same hardware with a Marchi, and I couldn't work it out. And I mean, it's pretty obvious when you think about it, isn't it? If you've got another compositor in the middle, you've got another jump for everything to do. So the ideal thing is just pull out the compositor. But what I did want to do. I didn't want to, you to boot into Steam like you do with the deck mode of um, Catchy and Bazite's got a deck mode and Nobara's got one as well. You just literally jump into Steam Deck. I didn't want that. I wanted to be in Amarchi and then be able to go boom and come out and go into Steam Deck mode. Now the 2E version sort of does that and that's a tamer version um, and it's more controllable because there's problems with NVIDIA um, because obviously Steam Deck itself is not designed for NVIDIA. And there's problems with mice and things like that in the TUI. And there's all sorts of, some people have reported like uh, mouse clamping, where you can turn 270 degrees, but you can't, there's like an invisible wall with a mouse. That's Wayland and NVIDIA um, and Hyperland all uh, mixing up together. 